Hello guys, this is Eva, uh, your personal, uh, personality and talent development uh, psychologist. I'm tuning in again for this Facebook Live because it seems that someone put some Facebook Live curse on me or I don't know, whoever you are, just stop it because I'm uh, experiencing some technical glitches lately and uh, well, it's getting quite tedious. So I hope this one will go through from the start till the end. Fingers crossed. Uh, so let me start all over again. Again. Um, so, um, you know, I want this uh, Facebook Live to be more about uh, mindset. Not, uh, I don't want it to be uh, too instructional because that was my last one. Uh, and uh, I want to focus on the perception of online success and uh, you know how not to get distracted by it because um, you know there are some patterns uh, I'm seeing and it's just not uh, me um, and um, you know it kind of can play uh, some tricks uh, with your mind when it comes to um, the online success so you know what I experience is uh, when I talk to um, senior managers or people from uh, Generation X, so people who are in their 40s and 50s, um, you know, they say that younger people, they uh, wish to have uh, an overnight success, that uh, they can't wait to just get there, they want to be uh, rich, they want to be famous and they want to be successful really fast and they are not willing to wait. Um, and you know when they talk about uh, you know even younger people like generation z so teenagers basically uh, they're saying like okay so everyone wants to be a famous youtuber uh, everyone wants to be a famous fashion blogger or whatever right so they are just kind of spoiled lazy and they think that everything is going to fall into their lap um and uh, you know i talk to millennials as well because well, I'm one of them. And, um, you know, recently I talked to uh, many uh, teenagers about their dreams, about their careers as well. And yeah, there were some people who were mentioning that, you know, it would be nice if I were, um, you know, a successful YouTuber or, um, or a famous blogger earning lots and lots of money just for posting my opinion online. Um, you know, and I don't think there's something inherently wrong or bad about it. Um, I think that, um, you know, the idea that uh, young people uh, don't appreciate the hard work or, not, and, or are not willing to put the effort in uh, something is not totally fair because young people today are, um, you know, experiencing something that older people, you know, during the, their young age, they didn't have chance to um, to experience. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> um, and that is, and uh, you know, this is the most mind blowing part for me, is that you know, if you go online today and you are in your twenties and you look around, you know, you can very easily come to the conclusion that you are a total loser, that you are a failure. Because you can see so many successful people who are making tons of money, who are younger than you, you know, and they are set for life. And to be honest, that's really quite a bitter pill to swallow, right? But what the young people often don't realize is that what social media are is, you know, it's a stage. You know, it's where you put your, you know, your best performance. It's where you, um, where you present yourself. It's where you present your success, right? Because that's what, you know, many people are interested, interested about. But, you know, these people, 
you know, they don't take us often to kind of peek behind the curtain, right? So we often don't see the effort and the hard work they put in to have these exceptional results. And yeah, th there is certain amount of luck, you know, it always helps if, if you're lucky, but it's not just about that, you know? So what, you know, what people then tend to do is that, um, you know, they are really trying to do hard to succeed really, really fast. And they are kind of getting into this overwhelm and then frustration and depression when this success doesn't come and it's not easy and uh, you know it's not um, it's not that fast right so what you need to realize and what I can recommend as a psychologist and someone who recently got to this place um, you know, as amazing as it is, that, you know, in order to, you know, start well is just calm down and, you know, relax, get ready for the work because it's going to take lots and lots of work, right? And, you know, choose a limited amount of resources so you don't run into this analysis paralysis, right? So choose what suits to you, choose you know, people or mentors, coaches who are aligned with you, who are uh, credible, who are authentic, who are good fit, and then implement step by step uh, what works for you. Um, also, be clear about what you want to achieve, be clear about your goals and, you know, what your strengths are and use them, right? Get your toolbox right, get your skill set right and use it to your benefit. And then also, and that's really important, be consistent and keep up with the good work. Learn to recognize it, learn to recognize success learn to embrace it, learn to celebrate it, and learn to continue with it, okay? Great, so if you want me to help you with all of that, then don't hesitate and uh, just get in touch. There is gonna be uh, a link where you can schedule a strategy session with me uh, below this video. And, um, you know, just uh, go for it. I believe in you. You've got what it takes. You just need to start and then you just need to keep up. Okay, it was great talking to you guys. See ya.